welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter, the Spring Tool Suite launch error, specifically when Java was started but returned exit code 13. Our viewer has followed several resources but is still seeking a solution. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. If you're encountering the error, Java was started but returned exit code 13 when launching Spring Tool Suite, the first step is to check your Java installation. Next, verify that the Java version matches the architecture of your Spring Tool Suite. For example, if you have a 64-bit version of STS, you need a 64-bit version of Java. Now let's take a look at your STS.ini file. This file contains important configuration settings for launching STS. Make sure the path to your Java installation is correctly specified. If the issue persists, consider adjusting the memory settings in the sts.ini file. Sometimes insufficient memory allocation can lead to this error. Finally, if none of these steps resolve the issue, try reinstalling both Java and Spring Tool Suite to ensure a clean setup. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the Spring Tool Suite launch error, make sure the dash VM argument in your STS INI file is the very first line. Eclipse requires this specific placement. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue was caused by mixing 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Java and Spring Tool Suite. The user had mistakenly installed a 32-bit JDK while using a 64-bit version of Spring Tool Suite. They also copied the Java home environment variable incorrectly, pointing to the 32-bit installation path. To fix this, they uninstalled the 32-bit JDK and installed the 64-bit version. Finally, they set the Java home variable correctly and updated the path variable to include the JDK's bin directory. And that's how they resolved the launch error. Apologies for any language mistakes. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. The error, Java was started but returned exit code 13, can occur if your Java home is not set correctly in the path variable. This is what the sts.ini file is looking for. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.